Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another Atlas Earth video. And this one is going to be about the math behind the October 1st update. We are going to go over the math behind the two big mechanical changes that had happened in the October 1st update that it was like a few hours ago, I think, at this point. Several hours ago, at least. So first, I'm going to give a little bit of a recap for some of this. If you remember a video I did on the Explorer Club several months ago, I talked about how we had learned that the absolute best strategy, the strategy to buy Explorer Club at day 90, and then in a 31-day month, you buy it from day 90 to day 30, was apparently seen as an exploit by Atlas Reality. Apparently, the intended use for the Explorer Club was not what I had originally mentioned in my other Explorer Club videos. Now, I didn't really see it as an exploit, but this is Atlas Reality's game. So now whenever you buy the Explorer Club, no matter where you are on the logins, you will start over at day one immediately. Also, instead of every month, it now bills every 30 days. That does suck as you can't really take advantage of the month in, month out strategy that I had in the original Explorer Club video, but silver lining, at least for this channel, it does make the math behind the Atlas Earth Explorer Club a lot easier. So instead of me having to use this chart where it's like, okay, if it's a 28 day month, then it's this many Atlas bucks. If it's a 30 day month, it's this many Atlas bucks. If it's a 31 day month, it's this many Atlas bucks and so on and so forth. I can now tell you exactly how many Atlas Bucks you will now get in the Explorer Club. And we're going to go ahead and just assume that uh, we're going to talk about a brand new Explorer Club member at this point, okay? So there are going to be some of us that will have already been grandfathered in with like the day 90 plans or, you know, where we started a day 90 or we started a day 15 or started a day 40 or whatever. So for us, it's going to be a little different. I'm just going to talk about just fresh, straight up, or you canceled your Explorer Club membership and you're renewing it. That's what I'm talking about in this case, all right? So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Also, the second new feature is for Explorer Club members now, if you have noticed my screen, you probably noticed now a little timer there that says 7 hours and 53 minutes. Yeah, uh, turns out that uh, they added a new little feature where you get two extra hours of boosting now as an Explorer Club member. So that's pretty cool. We're going to talk about the math behind that too. So first, let's talk about the Atlas Bucks that you're going to earn now with Explorer Club. So since we now have a 30-day billing period and no matter where you are on the login screen, as soon as you start a new Explorer Club membership, you will start at day one. We now have the number of Atlas Bucks you will earn for your $49.99. Now, I'm not going to count the daily login bonuses. So I know you would get 91 Atlas Bucks a day, but really one of that is already free. Okay, so it's going to be 90 bonus Atlas Bucks on top of the one that you get. All right, everyone? All right. So with that being said, for just a single month of Explorer Club for the first month, you will get 27 days of 90 Atlas Bucks plus the day 7 bonus of 180, plus the day 14 bonus of 325, plus the day 30 bonus of 500, for a total of 3,435 Atlas Bucks. This makes one Atlas Buck worth approximately 146 for one parcel, or one parcel being worth about $1.46 anyways, or about 68.71 Atlas Bucks to a dollar. Now this is an absolutely insane deal compared to the other Atlas Buck packages and even better than the 40 Atlas Buck to $1 invest option that comes around annually. Now I know some of you will ask about the strategy of doing two straight 14 day bonuses instead. This would require you to skip day 15 entirely however. So doing this you would have 25 days of 90 Atlas Bucks two day seven bonuses of 180 and two day 14 bonuses of 350 for a total of only 3,260 Atlas Bucks or about 65.21 Atlas Bucks to a dollar. So honestly, just going to day 30 straight is probably the best option here. And of course, it only gets better if you keep it for another month and especially the month after. So the second month in a row gives you 29 days of 90 Atlas Bucks plus one day 60 bonus of 650 
for a total of 3,260, basically the same as if you just skipped day 15 and did two loops of 14 in the previous example. So we're not going to go back to that average, 65.21 Atlas bucks to a dollar. And if you're going to renew for a second month, you might as well do it for a third month. Month three gives you 29 days of 90 Atlas bucks plus one day 90 bonus of 1200 Atlas bucks for a total of 3,810 Atlas bucks or about 76.21 Atlas bucks to a dollar. Over the three month period, you're looking at a total Atlas buck payout of 10,505 Atlas bucks for $149.97 or about 70.05 Atlas bucks to a dollar on average. That is if you remember to do your daily logins continuously. So considering that and looking at the other packages in comparison here, the best package being the $100,000 package now and then our best reinvesting, which is the annual reinvest, I think it's pretty clear that the Explorers Club is still the best bang for your buck out there, for, at least for Atlas Bucks. Um, that's if that's what you're going to do. Now, me personally, I don't recommend spending money, period, on any of these beer money apps unless you see this as entertainment. Because on this channel, I focus on what will get me the beer money the most. So it might be a little more useful if you're just starting out and you want to get to 100 plus parcels in three months real quick with little effort. But beyond that, I don't really see how else it could help you make money. Just being honest here. Um, but if you like the game aspect and you've been spending money on Atlas Buck packages anyway, well, why not just get a better bang for your buck and get the Explorer Club instead? And on top of this, I do know that uh, Atlas Reality COO Manning Field had mentioned on the Beer Money Network Discord server, and yeah, he's actually a member there, believe it or not. Go check it out in the Discord link below. He was brainstorming the eventual idea of allowing you to reinvest your game money into it via like an annual Explorer Club subscription down the line. Now, again, I'm not saying this is going to happen. He was mostly brainstorming with us. It's likely, like, if it is ever going to be down the line, I would 100% expect, like, something like Landmarks is going to be a higher priority. He did mention it was a very long-term plan. So, yeah, don't at me on that one, all right? Okay, it's now time to talk about the second thing, which is the added hours to boosts if you are an Explorer Club member. Typically, you are allowed to boost up to six hours at a time in the game which if you have eight hours of sleep and you go to sleep right at the time you boost with six hours to go, you will miss two hours, which is why I do 22 hours a day of boosting in all my calculations. I will continue to do that. However, if you are an Explorer Club member, you can now boost eight hours. And for many of us who don't wake up in the middle of the night or who need more than six hours of sleep, this is a bit of a game changer. Think of this almost like a rebate back on your money that you could earn with Atlas Earth. It's definitely helpful too if you are a veteran player, basically someone with a high three figure or more parcel count. And I'm going to go to the Atlas Earth calculator here and show you just how much you would be able to make off of this. Now I'm going to be real with you, it's not going to be too much, but I mean it is going to be a small rebate and every little bit helps, all right? So that being said, uh, this is my current standings right here where I'm doing 22 hours a day with boosts. I do boost 24-7 during Super Rent Boosts. I mean, it is just one day, twice, two days out of the month. Uh, so I do tend to do that. But let's go ahead and see here how much I make monthly. And I make about $53.82 monthly. So let me go up here to hours per day with boost. And I'm going to increase this to 24. All right, so... I'm increasing this to 24 and that will increase my per month to $55. So if we subtract $55 from 53.82, I'm going to make an additional $1.18 per month. But wait, there's more. So in my case, my strategy has been I boost only 22 hours per day, but I go 24 seven. I'm going to assume that many players probably don't change their sleep patterns based on the super rent boost. So if I do that, I'm going to make this 22 and I'll show you the monthly here and we are making $51 and six cents a month. Now remember if we're doing 24, so I'm going to set up 24 and 24. Um, yes, I know I could just put no on the boost hours, but beside the point, uh, it's $55. So let me go back to no here, $55. Minus $51.06, and, 
and that gives you a rebate of $3.94. And this is for someone with 1,500. Now, I know a lot of you don't have 1,500 parcels and you're not in the United States, so how much are you going to be getting back? Well, I'm going to take a typical US player and I'm gonna do 150 parcels. So give me one second. Okay, so here's 150 parcels. Uh, we got 22 hours per day with boosts. We're going to assume that you do not go 24 seven with the super rent boosts. And I just did a normal distribution here, at least about as normal as you can get anyway. And I just gave the favor to eight legendary parcels. Um, we're going to go ahead and just do one badge. I don't think anyone's doing maximum badges in this case. If you're at 150, I mean, you could be going for it, but let's just go with just one badge here, all right? So with 150 parcels and one badge, you're making $19.25 at 22 hours. If we increase this to 24, you're making $20.94. So we're going to subtract that with $19.25, and your rebate is $1.69. Um, out of the $49.99 that you pay, that means that your Explorer Club is actually worth $48.30. It's roughly, I'd say, like a three, a little more than a 3% cash back for the Explorer Club. So yeah, I mean, think of it like a little rebate that you are making. So it's a nice little boost. Plus, if you are one of those that need boosting constantly, you can finally get a good night's sleep, like myself. I can actually sleep now for seven hours a night. I sleep typically seven, seven and a half hours a night, most nights anyway. Now I can do that for super rent boosts, thanks to um, Explorer Club. Okay, everyone, that is the video, but I do want to talk about one more thing, and that is Atlas Earth related, so this is a good enough video to put it in. So I uh, want you to go back to my last video when I talked about my strategy for my real life Atlas Earth account. I was going to focus on trying to get to the late game as fast as possible. Um, I thought about this for a little bit and I didn't feel like having so much money kind of reinvesting back into the game. I had been very much focused on trying to get back to even and I had already been like down $120. And so uh, talking it over with a couple other people, um, again, I want to focus on making as much money as possible because that's kind of why you guys are seeing this channel in the first place. And that includes in real life too. So what I decided to do was go here. I'm going to redeem now. I cashed out all $55. So I will not be reinvesting that money in if it takes an extra month for me to get to 21,800 Atlas bucks. So be it. I got to about 8,900 in the first month. I mean, we have a golf mini game coming up, and as of the time of this recording, it's about 15 minutes away. So, you know, if, if it's if it's something I got to do, so be it. That's what I'll do. So uh, I guess the plan will then be to get to the late game in November. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it, everyone. So I think this is a better way. Plus this way, uh, my profits do start going up. Um, I spent 50 bucks. I spent 50 bucks, I gained 55, I gained $5 last month, and I think I was down 120, so now I'm down 115, and I can start continuing my way back to profitability. So, so that's pretty much the video, everyone. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Comment uh, what you think about the changes with the October 1st update, and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I am Ferro Silver reminding you, Beer Money Brew on Saturdays, 12.30 to 2.30 Eastern. I will see you then. All right, everyone. Bye, everyone.